Ken, uh, welcome uh, to Thank our studio. You so Thank you for accepting our invitation. Could you please uh, tell us or enlighten us more about uh, the on-ground developing situation? Uh, first of all, thank you so much, Kenny, for having me, and I would like to salute our distinguished guest also. Uh, so, Karim, you know that uh, since the beginning of the uh, of the special military operation uh, by Russia and Ukraine, there has been a true narrative of what's going on in the uh, in the field. So, in order to give updates, we need to give two versions uh, of the story. Uh, the, the the story come from the from the east is saying that um, everything is going. Uh, the military operation is going as planned, and the 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 um, the narrative or the story coming from the West is saying that there are a lot of problems. There are a lot of logistic problems. There is a problem of moral. The the soldiers are not doing great. So we need to uh, to shed the light on both stories. But one important thing that we should focus on is that unlike other wars, we can see currently that there are um, a lot of um, a lot of. Uh, uh, attempt to evacuate civilians. We 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 witnessed a lot of ceasefires, and and uh, there are a lot of cities in, in Ukraine, a lot of cities, and uh, a lot of cities where we witnessed that uh, mm -hmm. there is an evacuation of civilians, and also we witnessed that there. Are, and so far, about 10 million um, 10, 10 million people fled uh, Ukraine, which is something that mm -hmm. we haven't witnessed since the uh, the Second World War. And to reach 10 million is something really huge. Uh, Karim, can you imagine that in 2015, with the war in Syria and uh, withdrawal of, of the United States from Afghanistan, they reach uh, about 3 million uh, refugees in about three months. Mm -hmm. And here, what we're witnessing, 10 million refugees mm -hmm. in about one month. It's, it's a something. Huge crisis, really it, it is. It important. is so, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's a really a huge crisis, uh, and uh, also one thing that I want to emphasize on is uh, to actually four uh, important news that we 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 witnessed the last couple of weeks. The first one is um, designating Qatar and Mexico or Mexico mm -hmm. as as an important or strategic uh, partner outside the, uh, mm -hmm. NATO. And the second, the first one is diplomatic, and the second was military, which is the uh, military exercise of the, the United States in the Caribbean Sea with, with Mexico. And we also witnessed a, a, a war ship that passed through the Strait uh, of, of Taiwan, between Taiwan and China. These two uh, uh, information or these two pieces of knowledge that we, we heard about are really important. You know, uh, Karim, that when we talk about Qatar, a couple of years ago, the United States was, was labeling Qatar as a sponsor of terrorism. Mm -hmm. And today, after just two years, mm -hmm. we witnessed that the United States is designating Qatar as an important and strategic partner outside of NATO, exactly. which is, which is yeah. the, highest, uh, the highest diplomatic uh, relation that the United States mm -hmm. can give to a grant to another country. The other country also is Mexico. Mm -hmm. Mexico currently is the uh, is a strategic uh, a very important strategic partner outside mm -hmm. of NATO. And for the first time, they, they conducted uh, nuclear exercises using nuclear mm -hmm. submarines. The United States has never done this before. This is the first time uh, doing this. The other mm -hmm. thing is the delegation that visited, uh, the delegation from the United States visiting Venezuela. And you know that currently there is not only uh, a war a, a, or the, the special military operation between Russia, between the East and the West, but there is also economical and uh, petrol war because you see mm -hmm. that there was uh, there were a lot of sanctions on the petrol of, of, of Russia. We noticed that there is uh, there are two blocks that are forming currently, new mm -hmm. new blocks that are forming. Uh, the the first block, and unlike unlike what what analysts and people expected. The new blocks are completely different. Can you can you imagine that the United States and Iran, which had a lot of problems and a lot of sanctions in the mm -hmm. last five years, we can see and we can feel that there is some uh, a close relationship between the United States and and Iran, and the United States are doing their best in order to mm -hmm. get Iran back to the nuclear deal. Very you nice. can see that, which is uh, justifiable, I suppose, that uh, the U.S. is trying to let's say uh, get so many people to side up uh, exactly. with uh, with the U.S. And to get uh, as much support as possible, uh, 